We're back in Kentucky, Glen Oaks Golf Course for the 2022 Speed Golf Open. So this is gonna be a fantastic day. 70 degrees, a little humid, but we'll see. JJ is gonna set a new course record here. Yeah, gonna have some beef. Hey, third. <laughs> gonna have some. Gonna have some fun out here today. I decided to play barefoot today, as the course is completely sopping wet. We had an hour of rain delay. Go, baby. Let's go. Speed golf, baby. Hit my drive about 145 out and shanked my approach shot to the right. That was about 40 yards short. And I pitch up to the front of the green. Get in there. Tap in bogey to start. Hole two. Hard dog leg left. And if you don't cut any of the corner off at all, you're looking at 160, 170 in. A little bit over water next to a bunker. It's a tough hole. Oh, there it is. It's right on the edge of the water. Leave it short in the slop, no bounce. Get in there. Not good. Double bogey. Hole three at 200 yards. So that's kind of a tough hole too. This this first stretch of three or four holes, if you can play them one or just one or two over, especially at the start of a speed golf round, you you kind of feel like you you're winning. <laughs> oh, good chip. So this front nine is usually a slugfest right out the gate, and generally the scores are much better on the back. Bogey double double, so five over after three. We move on to, I think, number four out here is low key one of the harder holes. Oh, come on. You've got to place your drive just right up on, I mean, it's not a huge landing area. I um, mean, you could have a weird side hill lie from 150, 140 to a green that's tucked in behind some water, and there's really other than the 10 yards short of the hole, there's no good bailout. Oh! Woo! Nice shot, babe. Nice shot. I'm just trying to fight my hardest to drop a par and stop the bleeding. Get in there. Nice. Nice hole. Miraculous par. Five over after four. Yeah, go around. Number five out here, one of the narrowest holes on the course. Rock face, trees left, out of bounds, and a hard slope right. There you go. Nice shot. Nice shot, just in front of the green. Great second shot. And here we go again, chip and putt, chip and putt. This green's got some uh, pretty interesting slopes to it. That ridge right in the middle is pretty tough. Unfortunately, just missed the par butt. This is the first little climb that spikes the heart rate, guaranteed. It's not a big hill, but it's just enough to get you going. It's like climbing two flights of stairs or so. Kind of a short, one of the easier holes on the course. There is out of bounds right if you hit it too long. Okay. Is it now? Oh, I'm okay. Playing like three, 300, 315 maybe. Yep. Oh, I hit the golf path. I sliced it into the car path and into somebody's backyard somewhere. So I already have to drop hitting three. Can't get the gap bridge to the green. More pitch and putt. snuck out with the bogey. So seven over after six holes. Move on to par five, hole seven. With a really solid drive, this par five's gettable in two. Unless that is you pop it up and pull it left into the trees. You are not in roots, but barely. 
And then hit your second shot. Kind of further into the trees. <laughs> I'm really working hard. I even have to stunt my follow through Strap so I don't shot. bash the tree. <laughs> oh, nice shot. But make quite possibly my best shot so far. Put it right there on the front of the green. Actually have a good look at Birdie. Get in there. And tap it in for par. Move on to hole eight, par three, way down the hill. The most iconic hole on the golf course. The waterfall off to the right. Bear's gonna get us dizzy here. But I make a good swing, hit the green. Or we don't have a choice now. Go ahead and go down and turn back. You will. But I might have to get out of the car unless we. Yeah. You want to get out and I'm going to. Uh, no. There's definitely more slope on this green. It looks flat, but it, I assure you, it is not. Nice job, babe. Nice job. But a two putt par. So two pars in a row. I'm heating up. Finally finding a rhythm. Until you hit this climb. And even Fair is cheering on the golf cart to try to make it up the hill. What do you think it's doing to some of us, some of us that aren't really trained properly? Let's go, babe. Dig in. It is a very tough climb to hole nine, par five. Back to the clubhouse. It's kind of a tough little hole, though. Your second shot if you're not going for green. Nice shot. The landing area narrows, and then it widens out about 100 100 yards short of the hole, but yep. 150 out, it's it's only 25 meters wide. So it's a tough little hole with a bunker right in front. Make a halfway decent little chop out of that thing. And a putt for par. Four stairs. Good grief. Double bogey. So nine over. Shot 45 on the front. In a grueling, grinding first half. Start the climb up past the clubhouse. Through the parking lot. Into grandmother's house we go. To hole number 10. You're at 2738. The... Front nine. Good job, Nick. From tap in on number nine to tee off on ten, it was somewhere around two minutes, 15 seconds. And in order to hit my goal of breaking 50 at this golf course, I have to shrink that time just a little bit. I've got to play the front nine in 24 or so, and then hope I have enough in the tank to close the back out in sub 25. Playing good, solid, straight golf always helps. Finish climbing this last little bit of hill. And we get a break for a couple holes until at least 13. The ball was sitting down in the rough. <laughs> Hack it out of there. Roll, roll, roll. Still scramble nice. around okay. for a bogey. On to hole 11. 
short dog leg right. You hit driver, you definitely don't want to hit it straight. On my shot. I got lucky and stopped short. Get out of there. Ugh. I was kind of scared to hit that one. Left it short. Right at the edge of the bunker. Come on, Pat. Should have been a par save. Walk off with there a bogey bogey start and move on to hole 12. A little par 3, about 140. Really narrow green and long. Another one of my better iron swings. Put it about 15, 18 feet. Good look at birdie. Which just misses, but tap in for par. Nice par! Nice job, babe! Nice job! I will take it. The hole 13, par 5. Oh, I didn't see it either. It's up on the right. You dropping? I seem to always end up far right. After looking for a few seconds, I just drop and go. Or drop and shank it 20 yards there and have go. to hit again. Get in there. It was a really nice chip up to the green and just whiffed the pot. Gonna save bogey and instead I doubled. Moving on to hole 14. Another really hard dog leg right. Just aim at the bunker and with a little cut. And hit it right in the bunker, <laughs> right where I was aiming. Perfect. No, don't go right. And I made an awful swing out of the bunker. Hit a pretty good recovery shot, and just missed the save for fall. So walk off of the bogey. We're getting to the home stretch, hole 15, another par four. Pretty straightforward. Just hit it way out into the fairway. Water comes into play, just short right of the green. Left it on the front edge, but a pretty long putt. Not the greatest of lag putts, or a second putt. And a three putt bogey. Nice. Six over so far in the back, par five. Almost reachable in two, but not with my eight iron. If I had a hybrid, I'd go for it. All right, he's getting ready to hit. I got it. Hello, duckies. Hi. Pretty girl. So I elect to just lay up short and try to score from there. I hit a nice little gap wedge up there. Another good look at Birdie. And just miss it. But a tap in par. Move on to hole 17. But possibly the hardest hole in the course. There's a creek running through the middle of the fairway, about 250 out. So I just try to punch driver down there. Kind of popped it up. Oh my gosh. And it didn't get any roll down the hill, so so it left myself about 180 yeah. out. Oh my. This is one of the toughest tilted greens out here. So chipping up from the right side is almost impossible to get it to stop. But I made a really nice chip back up the hill. Nice. And tap it in for bogey. The last climb of the day, and then it's all downhill from there. Last hole, babe. Par three, 18, over the water.
caught the tee shot a little fat. And surprised it got over the water. Yep. We got Jason with the GoPro. And the drone's out. Watching me finish up. I almost knock in the par with a tap in bogey. So a shot 44 and 45, so 89 in 56 minutes and 12 seconds. Tap, 89, and then 18 inches of fury. <laughs> Hi, how'd you do? Yeah. It was good, it was good. Okay. Right. So, tell us about your round, Nick. Would, uh, how'd it go out there? Man. It, uh, I hit some good ones. Yeah. I hit some really bad ones. I scrambled well, but I couldn't, I just couldn't get into a rhythm early. My driver just was not, was not working for me off the, off the front. And I just, what? I adjusted well in the back, but it could have definitely, I left four solid three or four or five shots out there. Well, it's 8.53. So, what time did you tee off? That was pretty uh, fast. He's 56 minutes. I think I did, yeah. 56.12. 56.12. Okay. So it's not bad for being stock settings. Yeah. There's no, no golfing really this year. And yeah. Other than Alabama's trip. And no shoes. No, no shoes. shoes. I, really bad with I, love, I, I, love, I love the yeah. barefoot approach. Other than the black toe, because I smashed it a few a month oh, ago. Oh, man. Well, but hey, hey, it was... Uh, it's fun out there. Sloppy, we appreciate you always coming to Kentucky. Yeah. Everything <laughs> you do, and uh, I said we'll get you some. Go sign your scorecard. Get you some hydration. Yeah. Stretch up. Appreciate appreciate round, you hosting, man. Round two. Round two tomorrow, right? <laughs> Can't wait. Got got fair out here. Yeah. <laughs> speed golf. Let's go. Kentucky Speed Golf Open 2022. Day one. We call this one perseverance. <laughs>